Welcome to the full exposure. Can I interest you in a brownie? It's only 500 caps. Really? 500 caps? That's it? Oh, should I be charging more? Or are you being sarcastic? I can't tell. Keep in mind, the camera doesn't work. You sell cameras? Technically, I sell film. Great for collecting. According to Diamond City Legend, people used to buy packs of baseball cards as part of a tax plan to fund schools. Only, the packs were sealed, so you never really knew what was inside. Well, used cameras are the same thing. They're filled with pre-war films, memories of the past. You buy a camera, you develop the film, and you get a collectible you get to keep forever. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, there is one thing. The other day, this guy gave me a camera and said he'd pay me a thousand caps to develop the film. I couldn't tell if he was serious or not, but on the off chance he was, I kind of bought it off of him for five zero zeros. But hey, it might be worth four times that. Just gotta head over to the abandoned Photoshop to develop it. I'd go there myself, but it's too risky. Okay, I'll help you. Really? You're not just saying that, are you? Great, you bring those pictures back and I'll pay you 200 caps for them. Least I can do. Hey there. Hey, you're back. Did you find the Photoshop okay? What about the film? Here you go. Oh, God. Is this... Is this what I think it is? And... Uh, what's that in her... Is that a rad roach? Gross! What's the matter? So, you didn't look at it? You're lucky. Let's just say it has naked people and naked animals. Lots and lots of animals. I mean, the name of the shop is Full Exposure, not... Full exposure? Maybe you could find the guy who brought it here? Really, I think you could make a lot more that way. Also, I don't have the caps. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He said he likes to frequent that brothel near Diamond City. Now that I think about it, he was kind of a creep. It all makes sense now. Need anything else while I'm at it? Not anymore. And I appreciate it if you didn't tell anybody about the Adi Ne Ictures Pay. Not looking to buy right now. All right. Don't forget to tell your friends, though. But don't tell them you didn't buy anything, okay? any of that moonshine shit nope we're all out hi uh, did you need something i'm a bit I busy have something at the moment. you might want is that what i think it is give it here oh my that is absolutely wonderful you've done well to bring this to me now i only need one more piece to complete the set why all this effort What's so special about this photo? What's so special about any kind of art? It's the power to provoke. And this, my friend, is the most provocative piece of art I have ever seen. Where was this taken? In the studio of an old world photographer. A man by the name of Benjamin Spader. Of course, he was shunned as a pornographer in his day. I reckon they fought the same of Michelangelo's David or the birth of Venus. Uh, Philistines. Every last one of them. What do you need it for? It's not I who needs it. It's, it's the world! Art is the most crucial piece of humanity we lost in the Great War. I plan on bringing it back, piece by piece. Maybe I could lend a hand. Perhaps. You see, 200 years ago, the final photo was confiscated by a group of priests. On the grounds it promoted bestiality. Nonsense, of course! Nevertheless, this art piece and others like it were locked away. 
The keys divided among three local priests. Normally, I have someone who handles these affairs for me, but they've yet to return. Your job is to go to South Boston and see if you can pick up where he left off. Oh, looks like Christmas came early, and I gotta say, you are one hell of a present. Yeah, this year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. I'll take two if you've got a sister. Hell, give me the whole family. Anyways, I'm guessing you're my replacement. <laughs> so much for loyalty, but I guess it doesn't matter. Fact is, those ghouls chewed up my legs so bad it feels like bubblegum. So I'm gonna be hobbled for quite a while. You up for getting those keys? Might be dangerous, but you'd be doing me and our employer a service. I'm up for some community service. It takes a village, after all. So while this little piggy stays home, you can help him out by uh, spending the day in church. Here are the notes I have on the other priests. They may be traps, they may be tombs, who knows. But you get those keys, and the cat, as they say, is in the bag. I hear something! Alright, let's do it. Hey there. So, any luck with those keys? I found them. Alright then, let's go. Safe room isn't far. Leg hasn't healed completely, but at least I can walk. Oh no. The body can repair tissue damage. But still, too much radiation too quickly can prove fatal. Caution is recommended. <laughs> well, it's not the kind of pussy I was expecting, but it explains why the priests didn't just burn it. They probably didn't know what to make of it. Shit, even I'm confused. Still, we can't leave empty-handed. See if we can find something valuable in all this junk. as you, my little kitty cat. Meow. Do you want to climb this tree, my kitten? I do, but my paws are so tiny. And your trunk is so huge. I dare say it could take me all night. Plenty of time, my pet. Plenty of time. <laughs> That was a good find. Way better than some grainy photo of a pinup girl. Cause what you've got there is a genuine Ben Spader smut tape. I reckon the boss should pay you pretty well for it. To the victor, go the spoils.
Lust's passions will be served. It demands, it militates, it tyrannizes. Huh, guess that goes double when your passions are as weird as this guy's. Don't tell my wife I'm here. She jumped to the wrong conclusion. You're back. Did you do as I asked? Here's a holotape I happen to have. Holotape? I don't recall asking for a tape. Let's take a listen. Oh my. This doesn't have much in the way of artistic value. Historical value, maybe? Unless there's a secret code hidden on the holotape. I may be even a clue telling us where Spader and his people kept the real artifacts. Oh, yeah. It has their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. You jest, but I wouldn't be so sure. Maybe this trunk they're referring to is the location of an actual tree. But if it's not, then I think it's best you try to find a buyer at the auction house. I'll mark the location on your map. Don't worry, it's more of a lowbrow crowd. So I'm sure you'll find a more suitable client there. Start this baby up at 300. Three hundred caps, people. It's not a lot of money. Here's the thing. You know this ain't worth that much. I know this ain't worth that much. But it ain't about value. It's about whether you're gonna let this one-of-a-kind item be in your living room or somebody else's. Three uh, hundred? Three hundred from what's a face over there? Do I hear four? What about you? Gonna make a bid? Don't need anything today. Then what the hell are you interrupting me for? Okay, where was I? Going once, going twice. Sold! Okay, get your wallets out. This next item is gonna be pricey. It's a hollow tape made by some pervert. Real kinky shit. Guaranteed to pull your chain. 100 caps. Wait. No. 50. 10? How about we start this ride off at 400 caps? Damn it. Do I hear 400? Come on, live a little. Spend a little money, you cheap sons of bitches. 400 caps. Calculating chance of success. 20%. 400 from somewhere over there? Do I hear five? You think holding on to those caps is gonna make you happy? Nah, you gotta cash those chips in. 700. All right, seven. I don't know your name, but I know you got style. Do I hear eight? Some people say you can't put a price on happiness. Well, I say you can. It's 800 caps. 800? 800. Looks like we might set a new record today, folks. The only question is, are you gonna be the one to set it? Or are you gonna let this other jabot get all the glory? Going once, going twice. Bada bing, bada boom, sold. 